Hi, this is Tim. Let's talk about online editing. Note this is an excerpt from my live stream, so it is not perfect. Now let's talk a little bit about online edits while we're doing it. Is Notice that right now we have lowercase i's because the next thing I see people do all the time after that is I just put that in and now they're like, okay, well, local six, it's not working. What's wrong? Well, that lowercase i means, hey, this is just something that you're doing in your PC. This is not a big deal. You can scribble all you want in your PC. You're not actually messing with the PLC here. So now we need to take that edit and we need to get it into the PLC here. Now there's a couple ways to do it. As first, we have this finalize all button. And even in, when people are in my training, I don't let them use this button until they can understand what the others do. Because you can really mess some things up royally with this button right here. So first, we have this one right here. And that says accept pending rung edits. And what that means is take the program edits that you have just made and put them into the PLC, but don't run them. And we can see that when we go to do this, is we're going to hit this button and then pay attention to these eyes when we do it. So we're gonna hit that and now they're capitalized. And I always tell everybody, you know, if you've ever gotten an email from your boss and like there's a sentence or a section that everything's capitalized, like they're screaming at you, that's usually something they're serious about. So now that it's capitalized, it's serious. It's in this PLC. Now it's not running yet. And if we look here, we have these green bars right here and we can see the green bars going through here and then they stop right here. And that means that this is not running right now. So the next button we have is this test button or test accepted program edits. And that means test to try out, <coughs> excuse me. And so when I click it, then what, pay attention to our green right here. Now this rung is being tested in the PLC. So it is running. And now if we click input number six, we're gonna see, hopefully you can see output number two, it comes on. And also, even in our program now, we have an indication that output two is now on. So, and too many times I see programs that look exactly like this. It, do not leave your program like this. <laughs> People do, they're like, well, I think that works. Let me come back later. Now you need to make a decision now. Does this work or do we want to back out? And really, if you're not, if you're sure it's going to work, then we need to hit this assemble button. Now, the assemble button means make all this stuff permanent, delete anything we're not using now, and voila, now we have no letters by it. Now the finalize button, just so we can see that, we start an edit. Now when we start an edit, you notice we get a second copy of it. And I have people all the time, they're like clicking down here, they're like, I can't get anything to change. Well, that's because this is the rung that you're editing. This is the rung that is running. And so, this finalize button, what it does is it automates the steps of accepting, testing, and assembling into one button. This is a very dangerous button. You better know for sure you want this because there's no undo button to hitting that finalize button. And you saw there for a split second, you could see it run through the different steps, but that's insanely fast. Click here for our free Allen Bradley PLC lessons. Till next time.